a final send-off for MEC Kehaki Lue, but according to some ANC members, it would be incomplete without taking the baton from Kehaki Lue and continue to fight for fair treatment and unity in the ANC. A letter written by party member Nono Maloyi was read. The things we heard in that letter are just quite disturbing and I don't think they need to be encouraged. What needs to be done, a proper investigation needs to be done because allegations which are made in that letter have a serious impact on the abuse of power and authority. And I think the Inspector General of the Intelligence Services will have to assist, the responsible ministers will have to assist, and a proper complaint must be made by those who are affected uh, to be recorded because it was not only Comrade no, not even Comrade uh, Tahanyane also spoke to that particular effect. But what we call for is that we must unify the ANC. Kehaki Ilwe was part of the Provincial Coordinating Command Council in the fight against COVID-19, a responsibility he keenly carried even at home. In one of the funeral family members when the lockdown started, he insisted that and he warned them to say that COVID is coming and some of the family members, the loved one will be buried without their family observing them and unfortunately it has to happen to him and, and we obviously echo his uh, messages that he has been preaching and we have experienced it that is not easy and we don't we will wish for no one to, to experience this kind of experience. Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister Dr. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma delivered a virtual eulogy. In honoring him, we must also redouble our efforts in the fight against COVID-19. In advancing the fight, we must all make the necessary sacrifices and play our part. We must protect ourselves and protect one another. The 53-year-old Kehaki Lue died on Monday due to a COVID-19 related illness. He leaves behind his wife, three children and 14 siblings. Selwane Khakhawu, SABC News, Freiburg.